Okay. Hello there, Biostrack. So today we are looking at this beautiful ship of yours. So what is it called, please? Its full name is the DD-110 Biomech. DD-110 Biomech. Excellent. And uh, is it a complete hand build? Yes. It is. Excellent. I'm impressed. This is a really nice build, mate. Nice use of the uh, beacons at the front. But excellent uh, contours all the way through. It's got a really nice shape to it. It goes quite far all the way back and it's quite varied as well. Nice logo on the side. Very yeah, that's markings. my personal logo. The turrets are nice and they're varied too. Got nice detailing on the top. Fairly hefty turret arrangements. Um, <clears throat> I'm still working on it. Yeah, yeah. Just a well, few so details here and there. It's presentable though, right? <laughs> yeah. It is actually based off of the UNSC Heart of Midlothian from the Halo series. Okay. That explains it a little bit. And there it is. It's a beautiful ship. So has it got hangars, interior? What's it got? Tell me. There are two hangars on the side, one hangar on the bottom. Yep. It has a small interior. I'm still working on it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. This deserves its own review, mate. This is another one of those ships which is like on the limit of whether you bring it in for a lineup, you know. Um, but to be honest, I think you might need to um, set your. F have you set your faction? No. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. All right. No worries. Well, anyway, yeah. Basically. Um, yeah, there is that, but just just in case. So yeah, I really love this ship. It's a really nice it's a really nice ship, like I say, it's rare to see something like that's got some chunk to it, but isn't just flimsy underneath. So you know, it's it's really nice. There's not much more I can say about it really. I can't wait to see how it's finally detailed. Just please be please make sure that you do the whole job on it, you know. Yeah, there's a bit of an really interior if you want to come to me. Yeah, whereabouts? Whereabouts? I'm at the bridge at the top. I've opened up the I'm, door. It's alright, I'm build moding it, so just lead the way. And show me the finished bits. Okay, so we've got a bridge, nice chairs, leather chairs, very nice. This, and we've got our guns back in, nice tables, we've got computer -y screens and things, or no power actually. And then going back, going down more. We've got the core room, very nice core room. Need to penta and tetra it up. Yeah, I made this before Pentra and oh, Tentra. Yeah, I thought so. This looks good as well. If you follow me, there's a bit of a power cell room right uh, here. I can make some really nice engines with this. Very nice. And what's this? Oh, go on then. I have a system set up with yeah, gravity. Yeah, I see it. Go on. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jeffrey's tubes. Where's he going? Oh, wait, what? Oh, right, so you can come up here and check out your warp core. Yeah, this is a bit of a power cell. I'll make it a bit larger later on. And then if you want to go back... Wait, what? Wait. Oh, it's the wrong way around. Dang it, didn't work. Ah, you, yeah, you've got it the wrong way around. I'm still messing with the entire system with gravity. That's cool, I get the idea, and it's just a case of flipping it around, so you'll be fine. Right, so there yeah. it is. What's the name of this ship? The DD-110 Biomech. The DD-110 Biomech. I'm just taking a quick scan through some of the rest of your uh, rooms and build mode. So you've got a bunch of nice little tidy crew corridor down here as well. Loads of room. Loads of room. It's a nice staircase. Yeah, I'm pretty much doomed right now unless I get teleported out. Yeah, I'm stuck I'll in this do, room. What I can do for you, mate, is basically destroy the ship. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Wait. Right, and then if you... Alright, good. Yeah, that'll work. 
Okay, well, thanks ever so much, Bertie, for bringing that one in for review. And, um, yeah, thanks to everybody who's been watching the live stream. Uh, like I say, we do this every Wednesday night. And uh, I can't wait to see you again next week. Midnight UK GMT.